Hello together. My name is Anja Concept and I will explain and demonstrate the Typhoon Hill car maker co simulation of an electric vehicle to you. The model was created by Julian Riedel as part of his master thesis. The idea was a co simulation of an electric vehicle between IPG car maker and Typhoon Hill. IPG car maker is a test platform to implement and graphically display virtual test scenarios in different areas for automotive development. The communication between CarMaker and Typhoon Hill is working via CAN communication. The electric drive then of the vehicle is running on the hill. CarMaker simulates the vehicle body, the track, the maneuvers and the driving dynamics. So CarMaker is sending the actual rotation speed and the load requirement to the hill and the hill executes the torque calculation and sends the torque back to CarMaker. Here you can see the hardware and software requirements. We are using a Typhoon Hill 604, then you need a Typhoon Hill control center, at least version 2022.12. Further on, you need a Windows PC with CarMaker installed and a valid license. And in the picture on the right, you can see a CAN to USB adapter with 120 ohm termination adapter and a tender changer using CAN port 1 of the Hill. More information about how to integrate the simulation into CarMaker and about the CarMaker license can be found in the, in the installation guide. Here you can see my actual setup. The hill is connected to the PC via CAN to USB and via Ethernet. Here you can see the schematic of a four-wheel drive electric drive train based on the electric vehicle example. Here you can see the DC link side with the battery. In this case, we use a lithium ion battery with a nominal voltage of 350 volts. Here we have a two level three phase inverter. It converts the direct current into a three phase alternating current for the electric machine. This is an LC filter, which is used to smooth the harmonics of the current. And here on the right, you can see the induction machine for the front. This is the signal processing part of the model to control the inverter. This is indirect field oriented control. For the rear engine, we have exactly the same structure here again. Here on the right, we have the CAN sending and the CAN receiving block. The send block sends the actual torque and for debugging purposes, the RPM from both motors via CAN to CarMaker. Also, you can see the CAN receiving block here. Behind this mask, you can see these five CAN receiving blocks where the travel distance, throttle and brake, torque and speed for the front and rear engine, as well as the SOC of the battery are received from CarMaker. Let's compile this model. Here you can see the scalar panel for this model. Also here we orientated a the electric vehicle panel. Here on the left you can see the capture scope for the inverter signals. Here on the right corner we see the state of charge and under the mask are the battery data like the voltage, current and state of charge. This dashboard shows all important driving data from and to CarMaker. I will show you this again later during the running simulation. We can start the simulation here later, but first I will show you CarMaker. Here we have the CarMaker GUI. Let's select the project folder with clicking on File and Select. After that, by selecting File and Open, we can load a test one. Here we can decide between VLTP or an example track called Street of San Francisco. I decide for San Francisco. Here we can see the selected car without a trailer, the selected tires and the load of 70 kilograms. Here on the left is the selected maneuver. Here in the simulation box, it is important that the real-time mode is set. Let's open IPG Movie here to see our car running later during the simulation. To start the Typhoon Hill CarMaker Core simulation, we first need to start a real-time simulation in SCADA. 
When this simulation is running, we can start the simulation in CarMaker 2. Now the core cool simulation is running, so you can see the car driving here in CarMaker. Also, you can see all important vehicle data here on the SCADA panel. Now you can see the inverter signals in the capture scope widget here. And here on the right, you can see the battery current, voltage and the SOC of the battery. Now let's open this dashboard. Here in the panel we can see all the important driving data. On the left is the speed of the car, then in the middle we have the throttle, the brake, the RPMs of each motor and the SOC, and on the right we can see the power and the torque of each motor. I hope I could show you how many areas in the development of electric vehicles can be covered with the help of a co-simulation between IPG CarMaker and Typhoon Hill. With this co-simulation it is possible to implement specific faults in the drivetrain on the Typhoon side. In addition to the fault simulation on the hill and in SCADA, the vehicle dynamics response is also simulated in CarMaker. For example, a fault in the inverter can be simulated on the hill and the vehicle dynamics response on the road can be observed. Furthermore, with the help of Typhoon it is also possible to simulate components such as the battery and the battery management system in great detail and so it is also possible to inject special faults in this area. I hope you liked the crew simulation and thank you very much for your attention.